Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through Faith of the Heart, and kind of the part of it that is the Enterprise theme song. And we're going to talk about where we're going to move it for key in a moment, but we're going to start on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go on the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go on the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And on our verse, we're going to end up doing C major a couple times, and then we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to actually stay on the B string, first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And we'll talk about a really easy way to do it, but, but if you do know a, a bar F major, you do your first finger over the entire first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky is going to go to the D string on, on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're just starting out or you just want to kind of avoid the bar chords actually, you could use a substitute for that called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, B, and B, and E, you know, the skinny four strings, that'll get you your clearest sound out of that. And that's all. It's called F major 7. It sounds really happy. And then from the F, we're going to be going back to A minor, and another A minor. And then we got an F, G, F. And then we go to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord again. So we got F major, F major. But then we go to D minor. And the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret. Second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of like what we were doing for the F major seven, that sounds a D minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then right after the D minor in the verse, then we're going to be going to a G major chord again. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, and what I mean by that is we're just going to end up doing just the down, down, up on each of those chords. So like when we hit that A minor G in the very first part of the verse, we're just going to go down, down, up on the A minor, and then a down, down, up on the G chord. But I mean, just to try that through our verse, we'd have C, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, G, down, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down. push and kind of do two downs to kind of make your way into the chorus. Or if you want to, you could just strum through that, that G down, up, up, down, up. And then we'll be going into our chorus part. And our chorus, we kind of sit, they do a lot of those same kind of things. So the first part of our chorus, we're going C down, up, up, down, up, F down, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 down
go to the G on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And just like the D minor and, and the, the F major seven, we're just strumming just the D, G, B, and E. So it's kind of a happy D. It's a D major. And on that part, we got our whole strum pattern. So we got our D down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down. Up. And then we have our outro part, which is taking a lot of those same things and mixing them up. So we got F down, up. kind of strum through it. Now something else that I like adding to a song like this to kind of make it a little bit more interesting is bass notes. And what I mean by that is on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could do just the bass note for the chord and kind of simulate playing with the bass player. So on your C major, your A bass, or your A string is your bass. So you got C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down. So on your C chords, you could kind of use that. On your A minor, you've got the open A with Actually, those ones we we're halving and doing just down, down up on. Now we only have enough time to do a bass down up on those chords. So we tried that through our verse. We have C with an A bass, down up, up, down, C with an A bass, down up, up, down, A minor with an A bass, down, G with a low E bass, down up, up with a bass, down up, up, down, A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down, A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down, F with a bass, down, G with a low E bass, down up, F with a bass, down up, up, down, A minor with a low E bass, down up. Bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down D minor with the D bass down up, up down D minor with the D bass down up, up down D minor with the D bass down up, up down G with the bass down up, up down up, and then we'd be on our chorus part. So we got our C with the A bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down D minor with the bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up. Major the D bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down up, and then we kind of get to our outro, our chorus tag where we got the F with the bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down F with the bass down up, up down up F with the bass down up, G with the low E bass down up, C with E on that last C chord. Now one other weird thing is to play along. What you want to do is take a capo. And if you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your C major is really a D major, your A minor is really a B minor, your G major is really an A major chord, and your F is really a G major chord. And when we get to it, the D minor is really an E minor, and your D major is really an E major, and your E minor is really an F sharp minor. But just to take that from the very beginning, we have the C with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down A minor with an A bass down, G with a low E bass down, F with a bass down up, up down A minor with an A bass down up, up down A minor with an A bass down up, up down F with a bass down, G with a low E bass down, F with a bass down up, up down A minor with a low E bass down up, up down A minor with a low E bass down up, up down 
Take that same bass concept and try it with that pattern. The bass up, 